hey what's going on guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial in today's video I'll show you how you can add product tags to our e-commerce website so what is the tax tax is the percent of your product price which we need to provide to our government so when you go to sell any product we have to consider about the product tax and in this tutorial I will show you how you can add different type of tax to our e-commerce website so without any further ado let's get started first i am going to woocommerce and settings and for tax option if i check this page here is enable taxes so we have to enable this tax and rates calculation from here and now when i save changes we can see in the top area here is a new tab added tax so now going here and from this page here we will find some basic settings so the first one is prices entered with tax so the product price will include tax or not for example if I go to our shop page and for this product if we check this one so here the regular price is 100 now when the price will include tax for example here is the total price is 100 and tax is $10 so you will get $90 and when you select the excluding tax so that case you will get this 100 USD and your customer will pay the taxes so by default this is excluding tax so customers will pay taxes and then here is the calculate tax based so tax will be customers shipping address based or customer billing address based or shop address based so here by default the customer shipping address I'm leaving as default then shipping tax class in this case I'm also leaving this as default and rounding we can check it and finally here is the additional tax classes so here we can add different type of taxes so by default here is standard tax this is the default one and another two type of tax is added already here is the reduced rate and zero rate and we can also add a new type tax like for clothing we can add a new tax so here we can add any name which you want for example here I am adding clothing tax or clothing rate and then display prices in the shop excluding tax yes and display prices during card and checkout excluding tax I am leaving as it is and finally here is the one more thing display tax totals here is two options itemized or as a single total I will explain this later so for now I'm leaving as default and save changes and after saving this we can see here is our new tax type is added clothing rate rates and now I'm going to the standard rates and from here we have to set the tax number according to country state zip code so for example when I go to add a new one in set row and here is the country code so for example if you are in United States so typing here is the United States and country code is US and then if we want to configure the tax rate for a specific state so we can also do that by default it will work for all state and when you want to specify any specific state so for example here I'm typing California here is the code number is CA and here in the similar way we can also categorize it to postcode or city so I'm leaving this as empty for now and the rate so you can check the tax rate for a specific state or a specific country and then you can add this tax rate so for now I'm adding for example 5.7 and tax name here we can type any name so which is easy to understand for customers for example here we can add state tax and finally the priority and shipping we have to check this one and here we can also insert another row this time if we want to select only the country code so I am selecting only US and this time I am not selecting any state and here this tax rate will work for all of the state so I am adding three and tax name we can set country tax and priority we can set it to two so here this one is work first and this one is work after that and finally save changes 
and in the similar way we can add some tax rates for all other options for example for clothing i'm going here and here i'm going to insert row and country i'm adding united states and leaving all blank and finally the rate for clothing we are adding 4.5 here i'm adding all dummy data you have to check the exact tax rate for your area or for your country then tax name i'm adding the tax name to clothing tax and safe changes and also going here zero rate rates so this case usually we use the zero tax rate so going to insert and country code and rate here we can add zero and tax name you can select the zero tax and finally save changes and in the similar way we can add the tax number for reduced rate rates for now i'm not adding any tax number for this one and now i'm going to my shop page again and here first going to this product going to the edit product and scroll down here is the tax status taxable and tax class the default class is standard already selected and now if i go to the product page again and now if i go to add to cart and from here going to view cart scroll down so here you can see here is these two tags is added one is for state here the state is selected california and the country tax also added for this product and here these two tags is showing one by one and from the settings page if i go to the tax options and from here display tax totals so if i select the as a single total and save changes and now if i refresh this page again we can see the total tax is showing in single line and again if i go to the edit product options and this time you can select the tax class to zero rate and now if i update this one and now if i refresh here is showing the tax is zero and finally if i go to the shop page again going to select this t-shirt and going to edit product and now if i scroll down here is the tax status taxable and tax class for clothing we can select the clothing rates for this one and now if i update this product and now going to the variable products and going to add to cart and from here first i'm removing the another one and only for the t-shirt when i go to the view cart and scroll down here we can see the tax is showing so here we have selected total tax mode so if i go to the display tax totals and say that itemized and save and now if we refresh this one so we can see here is showing the clothing tax all right so you can see our tax is now working so here is all for today if you want to know more about an e-commerce website i have an another tutorial about how to make a complete e-commerce website in wordpress so you can also check that tutorial in that tutorial i have explained all about e-commerce website how to upload different kind of products how to add payment system how to calculate shipping how we can add coupons and all necessary stuffs i will leave that complete tutorial link in my description so you can check from there and finally if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial